Hey there everyone, welcome to Technesia. In this tutorial, I will give you a brief introduction on pivot tables. Pivot tables can take large amounts of data, in this case around 10,000 rows and summarize them in quick and easy steps. For example, we can quickly get the data based on the years for this sales and if you want to see it by quarter, this will give you the information per quarter. How do we do it? Let's get to it. Here is the sales data for a retail store from 2015 to 2018. We have a lot of information here, in this case around 10,000 rows. To analyze this data, we can use pivot tables. A pivot table is a powerful tool to calculate, summarize and analyze data that lets you see comparisons, patterns and trends in your data. Before we begin to make the pivot table, we need to prep the data. You need to ensure that your table does not have any blank rows. In addition, it would be better to make some calculations to help us analyze the data better. In this case, based on the date, I calculated the day, the month, the quarter and year. This will help us to analyze the data for each heading. So if you wanted to get a data per month or day or a quarter and year, these fields will help us summarize that data. To see how you can extract the information of day, month, quarter and year, I have attached a link to the video which explains them in detail. Once you calculate this field and ensure that there are no blank rows in your data, you are ready to create the pivot table. How do you do it? You need to go to the corner of your table, in this case the cell B2 and then go to the insert tab and click pivot table. Excel should automatically select your whole table. Just ensure that it happens and then choose where to place the pivot table. It's better to always place it in a new worksheet. You can also do it in existing worksheet. It's your choice but I prefer to do it in a new worksheet and say OK. So sheet 2 is automatically created with your pivot table. As you see here, to build a report, choose fields from the pivot table field list. The pivot table field list consists of all the headings of your table. So from serial number, date, segment, amount and your calculated fields of day, month, quarter and year. You can build a report based on your choice and however you want to slice and dice your data. Imagine I wanted to see the report of the sales per year. So I can just drag and drop the year to the rows as you see in the pivot table. Let me just zoom it. As you see in the pivot table now, the rows have got the years 2015, 2016, 2017 and I want to see the sales. In our case, the number is given by the amount for each sale. So you could just put it in the values. By default, the value is added which is sum. You could also do different like if you wanted to do the count which will give you the number of sales, average of each sale or other parameters you could select it in the pivot table. Here I am just going to leave it as the sales by sum. So what you see in the pivot table is quickly the year and the amount of sale each year. I know that I have calculated the quarter, month and even the day. If I wanted to see per quarter the sale. All I need to do is select the quarter here. By default it goes to the values uh, and it does not make much sense. So you need to put it to the rows segment here and this will give you the sales per quarter for each year. You could also put the quarter in the column section from rows. So let's move it from rows to column and the data is essentially the same thing but in a different format. So depending on what you want to see and how you want to see, you could move around the fields and the pivot table will summarize accordingly. Let's say I also wanted to see for each segment, that is uh, in my electronic store, all the sale is based on different segments. So, and if I wanted to see the segment wise data, I could just put it in the rows column here and here it is. For each segment, now the data has been segregated based on the year and the quarter. There is another section called filters in pivot table. 
How can we use the filters? Let's see now. Let's move the year field list to filters. So the data you see now for Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and for each appliance is for all the years selected. Let's say I just wanted to see the year 2015. So instead of selecting all, I select 2015 here and this will give you the data for the year 2015. If you wanted to see for the year 2016, you just need to select 2016. And if I want to see, let's say two years together, 2016 and 2017, you can select both of them. And now the data you get is for two years, as mentioned in the year as multiple items. So if you select all, it says all the years. If you select just a single field, it will show you the year. But if you do multiple items, the data is going to show multiple items in year. And even the summary is based on those items. Pivot table is an excellent tool to slice and dice your data very quickly and in very easy steps depending on how you want to look at it. Here we've seen the use of pivot table in seeing the sales data based on the year, based on a quarter, based on segment for one year or multiple years in less than one minute. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.